Science Schools is a science, technology, engineering and mathematics competition where we design, manufacture and race our own miniature Formula One cars. Um, in Australia we go through a regional competition, then you go to a state level and then you're invited to the national finals and from there you can go to the world championships. We were a wild card that were invited to compete at the world championships which is obviously really exciting for us so we were invited with um, two other Australian teams and a collaboration team between Tasmania and England. The whole event was hosted in Singapore at the Hard Rock Hotel on Sentosa Island which was a really exciting place to be. Um, we were up against 47 teams around the world, 25 different countries. Um, there were about 450 students that were there competing. So out of all 47 teams we placed ninth in the whole world which is an incredible achievement. Um, we placed 25th in racing and we got nominated for the Women in Engineering Award and the Best Sportsmanship Award. So to be able to be nominated for something and be runners up, especially for those two awards, because we're, we're all about promoting women in engineering and you know anyone can go into this sort of field. The aerodynamics play a huge part on the car. Um, for example, our front wing, there's a 22 um, degree angle, to which is the optimum angle we worked out to make sure that the resistance on the front wheel, there's minimal frontal pressure. So I have my screen split in half. So this is Autodesk Inventor. This is where I actually designed the car. And I'll do the um, individual components and different um, sketches, I guess you could say. So I make the front wing, front wing, back wing, wheels, etc. And then I do them all in an assembly. And then I'll export that as an STL file and I'll put it into Flow Design. And flow design will give us the drag coefficient, the lift, um, see if there's any vortexes that could be changed or slightly change different angles to reduce the drag on the car. Basically this machine cuts out the car body from a block of balsa as you can see up here and we put this block into the machine and a jig holds it in place and the spigot on the end and then we mill it on four sides so the top we do the bottom and then the two sides. So the canister is what propels the car down the track and how it actually works is there's a pin mechanism inside this pod and when this pod is fired up it pierces this canister and it shoots the car down the track. So the cars can travel up to about 80 kilometres per hour which is down a 20 metre track so it's about a second. Um, it's very tight competition so we found at the world finals from 22nd to 25th we were separated by about a thousandth of a second. So very tight competition. So as part of the world finals we had to do two 10 page portfolios. So we had our enterprise folio and our engineering portfolio. Our engineering basically was just our car design, our testing and everything we'd done to develop that and our enterprise folio was more of um, our marketing of who we are as a team, our team identity and stuff like that. As part of the judging was to make sure that everything all looked the same so this actually goes through our booth display as well. Well when you actually first walked into the competition our booth display was right near the door so it was the first thing you could see. So the pink really stood out and it just showed who we are. We also wanted to thank all of our sponsors so it was important for us to have our sponsors on the front panels which just allowed everyone to see who we worked with and how thankful we are of them. We're the future, like we're young engineers, um, you know, that want to get into this sort of industry and to be able to learn these real life experiences now before we're actually getting out there, it's just the opportunity to be able to do that whilst being in school, it's just incredible. 